right. Hi, everybody. It's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope that wherever you are on the planet today, you're having a beautiful day. I'm coming at you today with this flowy, super colorful, kind of big <laughs> kimono, but I just am digging and vibing on the colors of it all. Ooh, I love that blue and I love the I love this pink and orange. Obviously, these are my favorites. And how about my crystal? Mm. Can you dig it? I can dig it, you can dig it, we can dig it, can you dig it? Oh Lord, it's so beautiful. This is called an Apple Aura Quartz and it is very powerful. I'm actually working with this and about 30 other crystals and I'm going to be rehoming them soon via a new website I'm creating called crystalsbycrystal.com. It was actually available, I can't believe it. <laughs> Crystalsbycrystal.com. Depending on when you're watching this, you can check and see if it's live yet. It's not live as of this recording, but the crystals, after I work with them and after I take pictures and play with them a little bit, I'm going to be showcasing them on that website so that they can find their forever homes. But that's not why I'm here talking to you. I'm actually here to give everybody a three-card oracle card reading and give you some messages for spirit. And before I talk about that, I just want to thank all of my subscribers and followers. I have been out in these YouTube streets and in the Facebook streets for many, many years. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who have been with me since the beginning, all of you who have just learned about me and subscribed or just following my videos. I just want to say hello and thank you for being here. I want to also thank my patrons. I do not run ads on my videos because I hate ads just generally. And I don't want to be part of the whole monetization of ads part. Um, so what I do is I just have a Patreon. And if you are willing to support my work, I would truly appreciate that. All you have to do is go to patreon.com slash crystal and Compton. And you can make a $1 donation. You can make a $50 million do donation. Whatever you, whatever's on your heart, I appreciate it. It just helps me to continue to do the work that I'm out here doing with love from me to you in my big old kimono. All right, moving on. Let's talk about today's Oracle card reading. I am selecting three cards from this kind of quirky but really awesome deck called the Blue Messiah. Blue Messiah reading cards. Now, the energy of this deck is very interesting to me. I learned of this deck from one of my partners, Kelly Nelson. She works with me in the Lightworkers Lab, and it has a lot of interdimensional energy. And the messages are actually really, really powerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three cards in succession. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to attempt to intuitively connect with the cards to see which one resonates with you the most. A note here is to just allow for spirit to give you the prompting. Don't question what comes through. Don't doubt what comes through. Don't try to pick one card and then move on to another card and then move on to another card. No, stick with whatever first comes through for you. Always being aware, too, of how it's actually coming through. Is it coming through clairvoyantly? For example, in the mind's eye through a vision or a symbol? Is it coming through clairaudiently, which is with the inner voice? By the way, the inner voice often sounds like our own voice, but is our inner voice speaking to us and telling us which card to choose? Some of us will feel things in our actual body. We'll feel a quickening. Maybe our heart will start to beat faster or we'll feel a little flutter or a rush of energy. That's called clairsentience, and that's one way spirit tells us that's the card. Last but not least, of course, is claircognizance. Claircognizance just means I know it's this card. It's one, it's two, it's three. We don't know why we know, but we absolutely know. These are the primary ways that spirit speaks to us, although spirit is new every morning. Just pay attention to what's happening as I'm showing you these cards. And then after that, I'm going to give you a quick instruction. And then right after that, I'm going to reveal the cards because I hate when people take a long time to reveal. No, I want to know what's the message. And so I'm going to give you that message. All right, let's start first with card number one. Card number one. How do you feel about that card? Anything coming through? Card number one. Paying attention to 
any images, the inner voice, the body, the knowing. Card number one. Moving from card number one, let's go to card number two. How do you feel about card number two? There is a lot of energy in all three of these cards. So if you're getting like a bunch of hits, try and determine which card has the most energy because that's the energy you want to follow. And that's the energy that's telling you which card is for you. This is card number two. Last but never least, card number three. Card number three, all of which <laughs> matches my crystal and matches my big flowy kimono. We're coordinated today. Card number three, how do you feel about this? Has the energy hitting you? You connected? Is it resonating? How's it coming through? Card number three. Card number three. All right. Before instructing and revealing, very quickly, card number one again. Card number one. Okay. Card number two. Card number two. And card number three. Card number three. Okay. Now what I would like for you to do, if you would be so kind, is to drop down into the comment section and let me know which card resonated for you. What's the first thing that came through? Tell me what it is without knowing what the actual message is. This again is a declaration of trust on your part. You're essentially telling spirit, I felt that. I saw that, I heard that, I knew that, and I'm gonna comment and I'm gonna let everybody know what my selection is. When we do something like that, when we take that kind of action step, spirit always meets us exactly where we are and provides us with even more evidences and an even larger or more expanded connection to spirit. So drop down into the comments, let me know what came through. And also, if you'd like to, let me know how it came through. Did you see something? Did you feel something? Did you hear something? Did you know something? How'd you get your confirmation? All right. Having done that, having commented, let's now move to the first card. For those of you who resonated with and vibrated with card number one, you picked the card of golden treasures. Look at all the colors. Oh my God, again, got a lot of, things, got a lot of coordinating things happening here. Golden treasures. Wow, the artwork is so cool. Golden treasures. Let's read from the book. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek. That's a quote by Joseph Campbell. You can embrace many lessons during the course of your life in order to overcome cyclic patterns of suffering and find peace, contentment, and happiness. These lessons are the golden treasures of your soul. Although challenging, they enrich your spirit with greater perspective, awareness, wisdom, and expanded consciousness. These are the treasures that you carry through to the next stage of your conscious evolution. Stay conscious, dear one, as your spiritual lessons continue to unfold before you. By being conscious of the patterns in your life and viewing the experience from a higher perspective, you are better able to understand what in you is attracting that cyclic or cyclic experience. With every challenge, it's important to find the hidden treasure and reflect on how you can grow from that experience. The answer that is revealed to you is the treasure you collect for your soul's next incarnation. Remember, you can choose to hold treasures such as strength, 
compassion, and gratitude, or hold on to emotions that decelerate your soul's growth. Stay conscious, dear one, of the treasures you carry for your journey home. Wow. Powerful. I love that. Golden treasures. Card number one. Okay. Let's move on to card number two. Interesting and powerful card. Are you ready? Those of you who vibrated with card number two, you selected soul vessel. I'm trying to get you to see the artwork as best as I can. Soul vessel. Through unconditional love for your body, as well as your soul, you cultivate wholeness and purity of spirit. That's a quote by Nari. Dear one, if this card has come to you, it is time to purify your soul's vessel. It is the body through which your soul is able to live, grow, and experience life in the density of this world. Maintaining your soul's vessel is essential for having a more enjoyable life experience. Your body is your personal indicator of how things are going in all areas of your life. Stay conscious of the energy that you allow into your body. This includes energy absorbed through processed foods, the media, the environment, and other souls who surround you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read that again because it's so true. This includes energy absorbed through processed foods, the media, the environment, and other souls who surround you. By cleansing your body and stepping away from all that is dense or lower vibration, you strengthen your immune system and raise the vibration of your light body. With a stronger vibration and light, you are better able to be of assistance to humanity. Your heart is pure and your intentions are aligned with truth. But to make that evolutionary jump into the new world of higher consciousness, you must also ensure that your vessel is aligned with love. By maintaining your body, you are better able to fulfill your soul's mission. Stronger and more empowered, you are better prepared for evolutionary change. Therefore, increase the level of love to your soul's vessel, to your body, and allow that love to grow. Take care of the body temple, my friends. Be good to it. Love your body. Speak affirmations of love to your body so that it can hold your soul and your soul's purpose in this life beautiful soul vessel that was card number two and now last but never not ever never least card number three are you ready my psychic adventure pals my fellow star seeds <laughs> this is the card of the star seed number three star seed your divine mission is to inspire through the full expression of your own magnificent light. Another quote by Nari. There have been many moments when you felt different. Is that true? Can I get an amen? I have. I know that's true. When looking up at the stars in the night sky, there is sometimes a longing in you to return home. This card has been revealed to you to remind you of the reason you chose to incarnate to earth. You have a strong connection to the cosmos, dear starseed, and have experienced many planetary lives, including your incarnations on this world. Your light is part of the group of souls who have mastered many lifetimes. Through self-mastery, they shine their light to the world as stars. The brightest star in our night sky is made up of the many advanced souls who went before us. Through love, their light inspires us all. Many over the years have attempted to reach this place of light through artificial means, gateways, and structures. Remember always, star seed, the only gateway to reach this place of light is through you. This gateway to the kingdom of light is within every soul. And to reach this kingdom, you must connect to the truth of the light that is within. And this is your mission, Starseed, to inspire humanity to the light within. 
It will be through your creative expression of light and your living example of being loving and compassionate that others will also be inspired towards illumination. Remember, Starseed, that you are not alone. Your journey is being guided by the light and the love of the stars. Card number three, Starseed. How beautiful is that? So gorgeous. Now, did that resonate with you? Comment again now and let me know if that resonated with you or how that resonated with you. Those were beautiful and really somewhat complex messages for all of us. The deck again that I used was Blue Messiah Reading Cards by Nari Anastasia. I got this right off of Amazon as recommended by one of my very, very good friends. And once again, this has a lot of power. This deck and this book has a lot of power. And if you're interested in Oracle cards or doing your own readings for yourself or for others, I would highly recommend this deck. Now, it might not be for everybody because it's a little different and a little unconventional, but again, lots of energy and it's pretty fun. So there you have it your reading for today or for tomorrow or for five years from now, whenever it is that you're watching this video. May the messages bless you and keep you. And may you know that you are not alone. In fact, you are living in a spiritually diverse ecosystem and that you are part of a bigger all. You are part of the one. You are within the oneness. And I send nothing, and I do mean nothing, but love to you, baby. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time.